so hello and welcome. As you might have heard, we have recently released the new version of UGCS, UGCS 5.0. And so in this video, I'll just be going over some of the uh, new features in this new version, because yeah, we're really excited about it. Uh, it's overall built on a brand new uh, framework. And yeah, it's just a lot more refreshed and a lot, also a lot more user-friendly. That's also one of the things to which we were aiming at. So yeah, now let's get started. So uh, from the overall changes, one thing you might notice is that now actually there's no more UI scaling in the menu. So now if you just want to scale the interface up and down, if you're using external monitors or just maybe uh, really high resolution screens, so you can just do it using control plus and control minus. So just by pressing that, you can see the scale is changing up and down. On Windows, Control plus minus. On Mac, uh, the same, but with the command key. As far as the flight planning goes, one of the things you might have noticed is that now we have uh, different tabs. So we decided to separate parameters into basic parameters, which are needed for your general flight planning and into advanced parameters. So these will be different between different flight planning tools. You can see, for example, here in the waypoint tool, under the basic parameters, I have just four, while under advanced, I have two. Whereas if I go into the photogrammetry, you can see that basic parameters just now allow you to plan photogrammetry missions so much more quicker. Well, for more advanced users of UGCS, you can go here into advanced and change parameters that you feel you want to change in your mission. Similarly, you might notice that now the actions are no longer located here at the bottom of this window. Actions now live in their own tab, which is located over here. So here you have all of the same actions which you had in GCS version four. So you can add them like so, scroll down and then enter different parameters which are needed for those specific actions. Also, if you look at the top bar of UGCS, you might now notice that the elevation profile icon is right here. So if in version four, it was previously located here under each root card in the context menu. So now you can open up the elevation profile directly from here. You can still resize it and also you can scroll through it if you wish but now it's way more accessible. So whenever you need to quickly see the elevation profile, you can access it right here. Similarly, we've done a, the same thing with the map layers window. So previously also I had to go through some more menus, but now the map layers window, it's a lot more accessible. So you can just press here at the top and the map layers window will be displayed. The tabs are exactly the same. So map elevation, and all of the others which you are already used to, just the design is more updated. In case you're missing some of the other functionality from the top bar, don't worry, all of this is still located here. So if you want to change the vehicle size, hide and show the name of your drone, hide and show the arrows, uh, show the route summary, and so on. So all of these things are still available in here. Also, you might have noticed that now the undo and redo buttons have disappeared from the top bar. So they're now located in here in this uh, menu on the left side of the screen, but the keyboard shortcuts work exactly the same. So if now I was to change this route accidentally, then you can just press on Ctrl Z or Command Z on the Mac and you can undo that action. Now let's talk about the route creation window. So the route creation process has remained more or less the same. So you can still select here between creating a new route from scratch or creating a new route from a file. Also, you can still see we have the drone list here, but when you select your drone, now you no longer see this root parameters window. So this just speeds up the process of the root creation. But if you want to adjust some more detailed root parameters, you can still always go here into the root uh, card context menu into parameters, and you can edit them here in the root parameters window. Another thing we've changed is about the missions themselves. So if you go in here in the top menu, and then go into open mission. Now you can see that this window opens up. So in this window, you will be able to see different missions which are here along with the number of routes in each mission, as well as when this mission was created. Another thing we have changed is how the interactions happen between the system files and the GCS. So now whenever you need to import a new file into GCS or export the file from GCS, you no longer need to use our uh, old file browser. So now we just utilize the uh, operating systems file browser. So this means that now if you click here on the map layers, elevation, and then you can see here, I have an empty elevation layer. 
If I now click on upload, then you can see now the operating systems dialog opens up, which just, you know, in general speeds up the process and makes things a lot easier. So with GCS 5.0, you can now say bye to the super long toolbar, which was here on the left hand side since forever, uh, because we kept adding more and more tools in it. And so now actually you can see this list is a bit shortened. So, but don't worry, all the flight planning tools, which we had are still in there just that the ones which were not used as often, these are now hidden beneath these three dots. So whenever you need to access something like the uh, measurement tool or the search rescue patterns, so all of these are still in here inside of UGCS, just that they are a bit out of sight and uh, not really uh, bothering those of you who don't really use them or don't use them as often. Next thing I want to mention is the telemetry and commands window. So actually in the previous version of UGCS, we had two separate windows there. But now we have combined this in one single window, made it a bit more compact while still retaining all of the important information that you would need. So for example, here you can now see I have the emulator route selected and I have the emulator drone over here selected as well. So now you can see that the upload button is clearly highlighted in green color. So now if I wanted to upload it, I can just click here, select start route from the beginning and click on confirm. Next, if I want to arm the drone, the arm command is now located in here. So now I can just press on arm, and then once the drone is armed, then I can already press here on start route. Similarly, if you want to switch between different flight modes during uh, the uh, mission or before, then also now these uh, buttons that serve as both uh, indicators as well as buttons. So now, for example, if I wanted to switch the drone into manual flight mode, I could click here and then the drone goes back into manual mode. If you want to then continue the route from here, then you can just press here on the continue button and you can see the drone continues back on the mission. All of the emergency commands such as land and return home, they're now available here next to the current indicator which shows to which point is the drone flying. And the additional commands, they can be found here by clicking on these arrows. So if your drone has some very specific command, then you can go in here and you will be able to see it. Also, we have changed how the switching works when you have to switch between editing mode and the telemetry player. So now you can do it right here. So you can just click on the drop down menu, select telemetry mode, and now you are in the telemetry uh, editor window. And if you go back here, then you can switch back into the editing mode. And last but not least, let's take a look at some of the changes which are in the main menu. So let's go in here and let's click on the main menu. So now you might notice that now you have one section that is just called my drones. So in this section, you will see all drones which have been connected to GCS at some point or are currently connected. And then if you go here into profiles, then now you will see that the profile section actually now combines both the uh, vehicle profiles as well as the payload profiles. So you can go on any of them. And if you want to edit, then just select it click on edit and this pop-up window shows up in which you are able to change different parameters as you need to add and remove payloads and so on. And if you want to export any of these profiles, then you can still do so by just clicking here on the export button. So thank you for watching. Hope it was useful for you. Uh, in this video, I just tried to outline some of the new features of UGCS 5.0. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And also make sure to follow us on social media. So whenever we have some new upcoming webinars, you can be the first one to find out and uh, come join and talk with us. So thank you and safe flights.